Hello everyone, welcome back to your weekday weekend. This isn't a stream though, it's a, it's a follow-up to my previous scams video um, about uh, being scammed on Twitch. Uh, my name is Adam, if you haven't seen the previous video, what you doing, man? Here's a little sneak peek and a card to take you back there if you haven't seen it yet. Why don't you upgrade your channel with a logo, banner? Yeah, I have all that already, if you if you watch, I, I have all that already. Professional digital artist, I can make her look, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, hang on. Yeah, no soliciting. Um, there we go. No soliciting, guys. So I'm trying to engage with my chat. I'm trying to be nice to people that follow. I'm trying to engage with everybody. The problem is no one's actually interested in engaging with me. They're just interested in selling their stuff. I just want to remind my fellow Twitch streamers that it's not worth it. If you have a little bit of extra money to put back into your Twitch channel, invest in a second monitor. Invest in lighting. Invest in cleaning up your office. Invest in a better microphone. There's other things you can spend your money on other than graphics. So to follow up on that video, the one thing I forgot to mention is that if you do reach out to these scammers about their art, their artwork is usually fake. It's AI generated or otherwise, maybe they found it online uh, or what have you. And if you confront them about that, then um, they get kind of mad at you for that. Um, I have never gotten that far with them because I just blocked them outright because I don't want to, to waste my time. Now, uh, there's been an abundance of Twitch artists and they've been like leeches on my streams. I can't seem to get rid of them. Um, luckily, I think I have gotten to a point where there's not a whole lot left contacting me. I'll talk about that later. But since that previous video, I've totaled the number of scammers that have contacted me in one way or another since I started my new channel. So Twitch chat, DMs, and Discord, here's the totals. We've got three Discord DMs from scammers. We've got two Twitch DMs from scammers. And we've got 15 people that I've blocked for being a scammer on my channel chat. That's 20 total. In order to help combat that, I've turned on all of Discord's server protection settings against spam and unwanted bots. Here's what that looks like. I've added a huge amount of block terms and phrases to my Twitch channel. Here's what that looks like. Um, it seems, for whatever reason, I haven't had as many scammers recently, and I'm wondering if it's because of the game I've been playing. I've been streaming at the same time, nearly every day still. Um, but for whatever reason, I haven't gotten as many. I'm wondering if it's because I'm playing Shadows of Doubt and not Stardew Valley. I'm wondering if they're targeting certain games, um, looking for a certain type of person. Not sure. However, when you get a message from them, they like to ask a lot of common things. They'll say, where are you from? They'll say, I really like your channel. Um, they'll say, oh, I'm from this place. So, for example... If I say, I'm from Michigan, they might say, oh yeah, that's cool, I'm from Indiana, or I'm from Florida. They'll pick somewhere else in the US. Um, if you say you're from Europe, they'll probably pick somewhere in Europe. Um, if you say you're from London, then they're gonna say they're from Benfleet. You get the picture? So, from there, you have to make some assumptions, but we'll get there again. Um, They'll say, oh, I really like your channel. How often do you stream? Well, think about that for a minute. If they didn't contact you, how would they figure out the answer to that? That's right. They would scroll down on your channel and look at your recent VODs because it says how many days ago you streamed. Duh. Oh, what, uh, what platform do you stream on? Do you use PC or Xbox or PlayStation? Again, scroll down, see the game I'm playing. Like, hello, watch my stream a little bit. Just, just a little bit. So, think, if they're actually interested, why can't they scroll down? If they're actually interested, why haven't they actually done any research of their own instead of just contacting you? They've done enough research to find your Discord, but not enough to see how often you stream? Think about that. And next... What I was talking about a minute ago, it seems a little harsh, but you're going to have to profile a little bit. They say they're from the U.S., but they can't speak English very well. Now, I'm not saying everybody in the U.S. has to speak perfect English. But they say they've been living in Florida, but 
they're speaking very broken English. I'm not saying that someone who speaks a different language as their first language can't live in the US. That's not what I'm saying. But every single one of these scammers has horribly broken English. And that's for a reason. It works the same for any other language. Say, for example, you're from Poland. If they're saying they're also from that area, but they can't speak Polish very well. Again, I'm not saying that someone who doesn't speak another language can't live in Poland. But if they're saying that Poland is their home and they love Poland. You know, th some of the more basic grammatical errors start to shine a little bit brighter as a bigger red flag. Now, remember, scammers use broken English and bad grammar on purpose. It's for a reason. It's a filter. The more obvious scam emails are obvious on purpose. It's so that a certain type of people are the ones to contact them. They're not looking for people that realize the email is fake. They're looking for people that don't realize at all, that think it's real. If a couple grammatical errors slip past you, you're the type of person they're looking for. Because if a couple grammatical errors slip by, maybe you'll be willing to spend a couple bucks on a fake artist. So just think, use your brain, um, remember everything you've learned about scammers any other place aside from Twitch. Um, use all the tools available to you. That brings me to my final point. Follow for follow, sub for sub. You don't need it. Guys, do you want an audience that is there to watch you play games? Or do you want a number? For a couple days, I was posting 10 followers left to affiliate status. Or 8 followers left to affiliate status. Or 13 left to affiliate status. And I would get people that came in and followed and left. So I stopped doing that because guys, I don't want just a number and I hope you guys don't too, because I want people actually in my chat to interact with. I want an audience to come and play games with me. I don't want just a number guys. I want people that will actually come and watch and have some fun. So remember, you don't need follow for follow. You don't need sub for sub. You don't need an artist to make your channel look good because like I was saying last time, do you want to spend your money on making your setup look nice with a nicer webcam, a nicer microphone, some better lighting, a better computer to play games with, or would you like to spend your money on artwork? The artwork doesn't matter, guys. You can make something in GIMP real fast, pay somebody on Fiverr, pay someone legit. Remember, you don't need the artwork because people aren't going to come for the artwork. They're going to come for you. And the artwork helps, sure. Making your channel look nice helps. It really does. But you want to make sure that your people are interested in you. Look at Sips, for example. I love Sips. He's a fantastic guy. He's a horrible gamer, but he's amazing to watch. Look at his setup. He has his webcam in the corner, and he has a sub count. That's it. So, again, remember, guys, you want to make sure that people are watching your stream for you and your content, not for your artwork. So, with that in mind, Guys, I think that's about it. That's all I have for this video. If you have any suggestions for what I should put in the next one, if there is a next one, put them down below in the comments. Let me know your experience with uh, Twitch scammers. And um, yeah, come check out my channel on Twitch weekday weekend where I stream most of the uh, most of the time. Uh, I think that'll be about it. See you next time next weekend.